Hello, everyone. Stacy is here. Stacy Farber is here. And I know her from Hallmark, but I also know her from Virgin River. <laughs> Yay. And you had like really beautiful, touching scenes in last season. And will you be in the new season? Thank you for saying that. You're um, welcome. And thank you for watching. Sure. Um, yeah. Yes, we we cool. have a new season. I don't know when it's coming out yet, okay. but um, my character my character does come back, and I can't say yeah. what I'm doing. I can't say what anybody's doing. No, that's okay. Anyway. We like that that little tease. Why, Matthew? Why my guest that was on yesterday? He said you feel like you want to know Matthew Matthew James Davin, and I'm saying this only because viewers get mad when I don't say exactly who they are. He'll be mm -hmm. a, a character in When Calls the Heart, but my point is. He was saying that we think we want to know all the details and then it takes the fun out of it. So just totally. the ladies. Yeah. Totally. And knowing just you know. Tune in and Virgin River is a show that I think people binge um, yes. pretty quickly. So yeah. that's the whole fun. Like be surprised and go on the ride. Right. I have to savor it. I have to watch it a little at a time because I feel like it takes too long to come back, you know? Good for you. That's, that's some discipline. Uh, <laughs> so tell me about this new movie, Butlers in Love. I am so excited for it. Tell I'm me what so you think. I'm so happy you're excited. I'm excited for it. I, good, good. I've been working, I've been acting for a really long time. Like I started mm -hmm. when I was a kid and I've always wanted to be in a rom-com and um, I'm, I'm glad you've seen Virgin River because that's a lighter character too. She's sort of like girl next door, but um, it's a drama and it's sad and heavy. And I've played lots of, I've played lots of characters. Like I just played um, a villain on Superman and Lois, which mm -hmm. is on you. And I've on Degrassi, I was like, an edgy sort of troubled girl for a while. Mm -hmm. So I've always wanted to do something that's like comedic and light and fun. And this was the perfect opportunity for that. When I read the script, I was like, this sounds fun. This just sounds like a great shoot. Um, and a really good one to try my hand at, um, you know, falling in love on. Right, on right. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks adorable. Um, I've seen some of the clips and the two of you, um, you and your, your, so you're Emma, correct? I play and, Emma. Yeah. And the lead, his name is, is it Henry in the show? Henry, yes, played by Corey Cott. Right. And you two sort of like have sparks right away. I love it. And a little bit of like competition, like he gets on your nerves. I see you studying or something and you're, you're saying oh, yeah. like he's already, you know, on your nerves, but in a good way, I think. Right. Yes. I think in the trailer, the line they have is um, he's been driving me nuts since day one. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course he is, you know, um, <laughs> I was, I was so lucky that it was Corey. I'd never met him before, but he's mm -hmm. worked a ton. He's done a lot of theater and he's a Broadway guy and super talented. And we just got really lucky being paired together at random um, because we, we got along, like we laughed a lot and had a lot of inside jokes and we, we had a similar um, idea for the story and the characters and where we wanted to take it. So we were mm -hmm. able to improv and bounce off each other. Mm -hmm. And that's not always the case. Like you never know what you're going to get and everybody works differently. So I was very happy that we clicked and that we also clicked with our director. So then that means it's going to be magical. I can tell. You already. Hope so. I hope so. We had a lot of fun. I mean, there's no way you could say, Mm, they didn't seem like they got along because we did. I know we did. So right. I hope I hope that translates. And then so you've got the butler who is Maxwell Caulfield. Like, holy moly, right? I know. What How a legend. That? He's, that? he's amazing. He's such a gentleman. Um, yes. So sophisticated. He just, his accent also, like, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's inherent. Um he was lovely. He was such a nice guy. And I, I felt like he played that role really well, that sort of um, daunting, intimidating 
sort of principal of the school, like the director right. of the Butler Academy. Um, and Emma, my character, has been dreaming of going to a school like this forever. And she finally gets in and it's a lot harder than she thought it would be. So mm -hmm. um, playing opposite him was great because I, I could I could just sink into the, you know, people pleasing, wanting, yes. wanting to do my best, wanting to get an A plus. Um, and, and he was very fun to play off of too. And now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and it's not like we're giving away stuff because I saw it in like the promos that are out on TV, nothing said yeah. to me. So um, it, I think the main character, the, your lead, um, he is from a line of butlers, right? His, his, yeah. Okay. His family, he comes from a family of butlers. Okay. Um, so he has a different reason for being at the school and um, different feelings about mm -hmm. the profession. And um, I think they help each other um, on their on their separate journeys that then come together. Come together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be exciting. So I was looking at the schedule. So it premieres this Saturday, right, at 8 o'clock, yeah. which is the third, 29th, the 29th, right? Yeah. Yes. Right. But then... It's on Sunday again. That Sunday, it comes on again. Okay. Then it comes, yes, and they're going to play it all week. And then I think it comes up on the 3rd, February the 3rd. And then it comes on another week. Is it? Let me look. It's Sunday again, the 6th. In the okay, I love that. I didn't even know that, but that's oh, yeah. awesome. I hope everyone can do their best to tune in on Saturday. We will. We but will. if you can't, no problem. Check it out later in the week. Um, yes. And we're going to live tweet for you. Oh, great. I haven't been on Twitter in a while, but I have Twitter. And I'll I'll try to make okay. sure I'm available if, to go on it that night. If you go on, I sent you a whole bunch of tweets oh. all these days all along. You'll see them and people yeah, come in. So yeah. it's cool. Now, okay. before you have to go, can okay. you, I wanted to like highlight, I don't know if you can see the in the chat, the comments. I don't know what device you're on. I'm on my laptop. Okay. And so there's, oh, a, yeah. That. And people are saying all these wonderful things. Oh my gosh. I'll, I'll sure show, I'll I'm put one up here. for you. This is Jill. Oh. Love June. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks, Jill. Thank you. Yep. And this is Christina. <laughs> oh, I'm fun. Oh, thanks for watching Virgin River. That was a really, a really exciting show to be mm -hmm. part of. And I think Candace has something. She remembers watching you too, and she can't wait for it for it to be like a reboot oh, or an HBO gosh. Max. <laughs> yeah, I guess my episodes will be on HBO Max. It's just a show that will follow me forever. Crazy, crazy. All right, and I have a question before you go. How did you prep? What did you have to do to get your mind ready to say, "Oh, I'm going to be a butler"? Did you have to do any? background research or you just throw yourself in? I did a little research. Mm -hmm. I think what I do when I audition for things um, or shoot them is I try to pull out or I try to identify the things in me in real life that mm -hmm. um, apply to the character also okay. and pull out parts of my personality. So um, in this case, I was definitely a striver in school. Um, I got good grades. <laughs> uh, no, but I, um, I, I worked hard. I do yes. work hard. I still, even in acting, even though it's like a profession that you rarely have any control over and, it, mm -hmm. and that makes it so hard, I, I'm very professional and I take it very seriously. And um, I'm also a very organized person. Mm -hmm. you know, I love the container store, that kind of stuff. So I feel like that's, that goes with being a butler. Sure, and, sure. And uh, the clothing helped. I wore my blazer today for, to, to be a little professional. But the uniforms that we wore on set were so awesome. And having a bow tie or a tie uh, really, really does help you get into that, like, into the role yeah, be a little, little straighter yeah, yeah be a little more polished so that yeah. helps as well 
So is there anything special we should look out for? Something that you want us to pay attention to, maybe tweet out or or is there a scene that was your favorite? I know you can't give all the details away, but something I know I'm putting you on the spot on that. No, one. no, that's okay. Um Yeah, I just love hearing I mean, even if you have other feedback, I welcome it on on Twitter is probably the easiest way to sure. get it to me. But um yeah, any moments that you think are funny or fun or romantic or cute, like I, I'm curious to see what people think. Um I think we're gonna we had, love it. Yeah, we had a lot of fun making it. So I hope that comes across and I hope it's just like a light fun escape and fun entertainment for everybody and something fresh. I think it's an original idea. Like it is. It there's is so many rom coms, but like this is new, you know? It is. It's different. Um I like it because we haven't seen anything like it. And that's what that's the first thing that drew me to it. And then when I was watching the fun like interaction between the everybody, even even though I know the part that Maxwell plays is supposed to be, you know, very stuffy and whatnot. You could see him when, you know, talking and saying something like, I forget exactly how he said it, but that the two of you needed each other. Do you know what I mean? He has funny little, like he has a funny side too, right? Like he, he becomes lovable just in those two minutes that you see him. So I'm excited. Ah, I can't tell you I'm so excited. Mm -mm. All right. Now, um, one more thing. I always say that and I keep popping in my head. I really do mean one more thing. What was the set like? Because okay. what I saw was gorgeous. Like, what was that? Where? Yeah, you know, it's the, from what I heard, one of the reasons um, that made them think of shooting a Butler Academy movie, like it was, it was part of the development process, was this mm -hmm. location in Vancouver specifically, this like oh. gorgeous state um mm -hmm. that's like it has the most ornate woodwork and it's very fancy you can't have yeah. food or drinks um in that set oh, yeah. because, in case you spill stuff right um oh. they're very serious but i think actually the show riverdale has filmed there um and there's a bunch of shows that have used that location because it's very special okay. um and so, yeah, that's where we filmed the school part, like the Butler Academy. It was gorgeous. When, when As soon as like zeroing in, I'm like, oh, there's like, I, I should do a little video that says like five reasons, 10 reasons that you must watch before it actually comes out. That would be fun. All right. <laughs> I'm going to send you off with this cute little um, note right there from Alice. Oh, yeah. Butler's in Love is going to be a fun movie. And you're right. Something new. Thank you, yeah. Alice. Exactly. That's what we're going for. And I hope everybody enjoys it and mm -hmm. has a relaxing Saturday night on the couch, hopefully pouring a glass of wine with us or making popcorn or mm -hmm. however you enjoy your Hallmark movies. I hope yeah. you tune in. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Stacy, for joining. Thank you. Another nice meeting you. Hope to chat soon on another yes. project. We will. I, I promise you could come on and talk to me about your career when you're ready. <laughs> okay. We would love it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello, MK. Thank you for waiting in the green room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> how are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm okay. Actually, I was, I'm going to change my little banner and it's going to say, welcome, MK. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. So now tell me about the time. What, what time is it where you are? I am in Eastern Europe now. It's 5 p.m. over here. Okay. All right. Not so bad. Okay. So let's hear all about this. I was so excited to even learn that there was going to be a movie and it had to do with being a butler because normally that's like a background thing. And now it's the center of the story. So I wanted you to be able to share with us some um, insights into what it takes to be a butler. And they're all, by the way, saying, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> So you, you, you take the lead. So um, introducing myself first, um, I was born and raised in Egypt. 
Okay. I was one of uh, five, the first five butlers in all Egypt. You know, at this time when I started this profession, I am I graduated from hospitality management, working hotels, food and beverage. And then I found out about the butler service when I was working at the Four Seasons. I was okay. one of the first five ever to be trained by a professional butler, Clarence McLeod. He was the butler for the Queen. Uh, 25 years, director of Fairmont Gold. Uh, amazing human being, someone who is full of passion about butler service. And he, I, I got to be lucky to be trained by him. Um, I had a passion and I was looking for the service since I was at the Four Seasons. At the time when people were telling me, you want to be a servant? Uh, and it sounds it sounds uh, not really right in Arabic. It sounds like a slave in Arabic. Khadam, oh, wow. it sounds, sounds like a slave. And then I, I was looking at it as like, we are all servants. Anyone is doing service to anyone is servant for, for a matter of time. Yeah. Even the doctor is servant for you. The president yeah. of this country is servant to us. So the word that served didn't sound bad to me. I was looking to be someone who is um, serving the society, the elite, uh, live this life with them maybe. You know, mm -hmm. I grew up in a poor village. I grew up in uh, uh, in a village in Egypt. If I show you the, the photos of this village, uh, it's absolutely different to where I am now in the U.S. So I wanted to live the life of these people. Maybe I cannot be like, them but i can live with them so the way to get there i think and i think this is was my idea this time yes. just to be a butler because i got to learn at the four seasons that the butler will will serve the society the elites the creme de la creme of the guests staying in the hotel shopping taking care of the real suites their needs every day personalize the service for them and this is the reason why i wanted to become a butler I love personalizing things and I love to, to do things exactly how you want it. So the difference between you staying in a hotel today, having a butler and in a hotel, not having a butler. When you are in a hotel, not having a butler, your breakfast is set, is a set menu uh, or a buffet or a menu where you can look and this is what you can get. Right. But right. when you have a butler is what you want. Oh. Today we have eggs, but no, you want French toast. So the butler will do it for you. Okay. You want specific coffee that it's not in the menu. This is where the butler comes. You want to be, um, uh, you, are coming, you are coming for business and someone will be waiting for you at the airport. During the arrival process, you have to check in. You will not be checking in. The, the butler will take you directly up to your room will know your plans for the dinner and he will get your suit ready, will sh your shoe shine ready. He will also deliver food to the room. You have a romantic dinner. Who will set up the romantic dinner for you? The butler will be there to set up the romantic dinner. Oh. Uh, I got to work in several hotels, moving up, moving up to working in W hotels. And I became the first butler in W hotels ever at uh, this time and they name us the Wooster. I don't know if you know about the TV show called Jeeves and Wooster. It's an old TV show and they took the name Wooster because the Wooster wasn't the butler and they wanted mm -hmm. something to start with W. And um, at this time I got to know this amazing gentleman, one of the top 10 positions in the world, um, high profile. And he is the one, this is a very nice story and I'd like to share it with you. Sure. Um, I you know, in, in butler service, you don't you don't need to have expectations. You just need to do your job. You need to be passionate. Mm -hmm. Do what you have to do. And I was serving him, his mother at this time, and his father. He was so happy when I did unpack his baggage, his luggage for the first day. And when his mother arrived the second day, he showed her how I unpacked the luggage and how good job I did organizing his clothes and everything. And then he he was leaving every day for his conference, and I was alone with his parents in the in the suite. And then his 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 mother didn't know how to, or she had an anxiety. She cannot give a specific shot related to diabetes or something to the father. And he had something, he needed to have the shot now. And she asked me if I can do it. And she directed me, I cannot do this by, on my own. She directed me how to do it. And mm -hmm. then I did. And she said, oh, you saved his life. And she Aww. was crying and she was feeling very good about it. Then when the son came, 
she told him the story. At this time, he gave me a big hug and said, you are my brother. I would like to invite you to come to the Christmas in, in the US. Oh, and this okay. is how I got my visa to come to the US. Three years later, I didn't use the visa because through his work and he traveled in and out and stuff like this, I couldn't come to the Christmas. Right, right. But three years later, I came to the US using this visa mm -hmm. for business. And this is how, this is one, one of the many examples of how doors open for me. I'm not opening doors, it was opening by itself. Right, so right, right. what takes me there is being a butler, doing my job with passion. The butler who does his job with passion, I think, take him to so many good places. And I'm still in relation with, um, with this amazing human being till today. It uh, took me places. I did work in so many places after that, work in hotels. I came to the U.S. I worked in so many nice hotels and got to meet an amazing human being in, in, in America. I got to be uh, with, with a lovely wife that took me to stay and settle in the, in the U.S., and then we found the, the, our dream place because I wanted always to have my own bed and breakfast or a small hotel. Right, right. We found this amazing place in New York where is it a beautiful set for a, a bed and breakfast and a school. This is where I started the American Butler School. Yes. Um, got to know now that I am the only butler school in the United States. Oh, wow. There was a Stephen Frey, one of the, the great butlers out there. He also created books like um, um, Hotel Management and Household Hot Butlers. It's already on Amazon. You can see these books. He was teaching in the U.S. He's British, but he was teaching, teaching in the U.S. But I know since a long time now he is retired or he's not mm -hmm. doing the training anymore. But so I am the only school. The American Butler School is officially now the only Butler School in the United States. So people, when they want to send someone to do training now, they send them to Europe usually or London or England, some somewhere mm -hmm. there to get the training. But in the U.S. now they send them to me. Oh. I do. I do two things. I do training in the school and also in house. So when people cannot send me the stuff to the school to have the training. I go to the residence, and this is, took me so many nice places, lots of stories here. Went to high society, elite, celebrities' houses in the United States, teaching their staff how to elevate the service, how to exceed expectations, how to personalize the service, because this is where the butler comes, exceeding the expectations and personalizing the service. How you like to have your coffee every day, how your room temperature need to be, how you like your your clothes to be organized in the wardrobe, taking care of your pets, taking care of your personal things, um, making sure that everything you need while traveling is with you. You don't need to worry anymore about when you are traveling. You don't want to worry about uh, what's my destination, right. what's my plans, what I'm going to wear there. The butler will worry about that. He will know what's your plans. He will pack according to your plans. He will pack according. He will not just pack. No, he will pack according to your plans. He will know your plans in advance. He will book your airline. He will take care of your flight details. He sometime will accompany and we we'll call him at this time the travel butler. We have the English butler. We have the mm -hmm. modern butler. We have the travel butler. Uh, and you can name them names now. There is people who call him a butler, call them a personal assistant, house manager, chef of staff. But they are all under butler. The <laughs> word butler itself came from the old French word boutillier. Boutillier. And the butler was someone down in the wine cellar who okay. was taking care of the wine. You, you remember the Downton Abbey, the Victorian? Yes. Era? Yes. So Carson, the story before he was down there, someone is taking care of the wine. We will, mm -hmm. And then staged by year by year and then become the house manager so at the victorian era when you call him a butler so he is the head of the house okay and at this moment um and then started to come out to go to hotels the reeds carlton's claiming to be the first to have a butler service um some other hotels claiming the same thing we have we have the great the saint regis hotels one of the great examples if you want to see if you want to feel butler service you need to go to the saint regis you have the plaza hotel in new york there's so so much limitation at the plaza when it comes to butler and how they can show themselves as a butler mm -hmm. but the plaza is a place where you can feel that you you are served by butler 
works. Okay. <laughs> you don't see them so much. But if you step uh, on the other side and just go to the centriges, maybe you can feel the butler a little bit. Now, let's say Ellen DeGeneres. We have uh, lots of people who have butler service and they talk about it. What's the difference between just having a housekeeper? Okay. When I, I will tell you this. This is how I explain it to people. When you are like a middle class you maybe don't have a chef, maybe you don't have a chauffeur, but when you, if you got a little bit more rich, what mm -hmm. you're looking for is you're looking for a housekeeper, the first thing, someone to clean your house, take care mm -hmm. of your house. If you got a little bit more rich, you look for a chef, someone mm -hmm. to cook for you also. You don't want to cook anymore. Right. But then the third stage, when you get more and more rich, you look for a butler. Okay. To, you, to take care of you, to do the things that you don't, that, that takes time with you and also give you uh, the pleasure of enjoying your wealth. So, and take it. So that, that's the butler. Butler does so many things around the house, not just really today in today, mm -hmm. not just serving the food and beverage like before. The butler today take care of your swimming pool, your security system, uh, take care of uh, how the housekeeping started their day and end the day, take care of the security team, take care of uh, cars, the fleet, take care of your private jet, transportation, all the things. So it's a very, very complicated, very sophisticated job. Uh, a butler can today, I know a butler, I'm not telling just numbers, but I know butlers today who takes half a million dollars a year, $500,000 a salary. Yeah. Salaries start from 75,000 to 125K, 150. So you can be hired very easy in a nice house in Seattle or in Hawaii or mm -hmm. Vancouver in Canada. And you would be getting uh, on Vero Beach in Florida. I have seen that. 125,000. <laughs> 125, but you had to work you have to work very hard so there is so much here needed from you uh, level of uh, flexibility also is needed from you uh, i think i i have mixed everything together so this is my story and this is the butler in front of you what he does so i got them i think in in two minutes for you yeah but it that's excellent that's okay it just yeah. it, it was beautiful and you're very detailed we've got questions over here for you and yeah. some comments um i have a question when some, what's the average like years a butler is a butler? Like, is there an average year or? Yeah, the uh, how many years of experience needed yes, to become a butler? Yes. So usually, in today in hotels, you will see a lot of people getting hired as a butler even sometime with no experience because not oh, a lot okay. of people know about butler service. They right. would look for someone who have experience in food and beverage, like restaurants. As mm -hmm. a waiter or waitress, or look for someone who have experience as a housekeeper. Okay. And then you will give them training to become butler. When it comes to high society homes and elites and VIPs mm -hmm. who are looking for a specific needs in a butler, they would look for someone who have at least three to five years of household experience plus maybe five star hotels experience. Okay. So three to five years when you can say that someone is really professional butler. Okay. Today, you can have the title. You can go to hotels and see someone, oh, I'm a butler. But really, and you don't know what, the, like, maybe what you would get from them is what you will get from a server in a restaurant or a housekeeper. Okay. But someone who we call a, a real butler is someone who knows how to personalize the service and give you what you need, not what everyone takes. Oh, okay. That's the difference here. So... This comes, I think, with experience, three to five years when you can call someone a, a professional butler. Okay. So I call them a real butler. Right. That's okay. Let's yeah. take some questions. Yeah. Um, it says, this is an interesting question. Do you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement for every household you work, uh, you enter to work? Absolutely. This is very important. And this yes. is why I can share so many of the nice stories and yes. some things that I have seen in uh, um in, in the in life of the high society, the, this people's life is, is not that, I'm not saying it's the difference here, but they have in their life, what if, if we share as a normal sure. people is, is huge mm -hmm. and can cause lots of trouble. So this is yeah. why we have to sign that and yeah. um, respect. 
one of the main things that I teach people at the school, uh, we have five things well presented at all time. And the second one is discretion, discreet. Mm -hmm. You need to be discreet. I see everything. The butler always someone sees everything and says nothing. Nothing. That's what we always. And then after the hard working and on, on all these things that we teach people how to become. But I always tell them that discreet might come the first thing. First thing, well presented at all time, because when you say the word butler, you're always imagining someone with a bow tie. Yes. With a I'm sorry yes. for how I look now. I have all my my suit and my white gloves is in the hotel where I do the training now. That's OK. But you're a real see, man here. <laughs> no, but, but if you want to see how I look in my profession, you can go to the AmericanButlerSchool.com. You will see me on the first front page okay. and you will see the white gloves, the tuxedo, the tie. And this is how how I should look like now. But unfortunately, no. all my my. So this is why we say well presented at all time. And then we come up with discretion. But I would tell people discretion should be number one when That's it comes true. to Butler. So because we see so much, so many stories, uh, we can mm -hmm. we can be in. We are inside our hands. I would say the Butler hands inside your clothes, inside your bags. You know, our sure. eyes close inside your private areas. Yeah. I can help high number of profiles, and I. I go to the bathroom, for example, while they're taking a shower, prepare a bath for them. So this is right. all things that Butler only have access to, not anyone. So this is very important. This is very actually a very good question from Teresa. Oh, Teresa, thank you so much. Very yeah. good question. <laughs> this is another question right here. So I guess when you're the type of butler, because you said there were different kinds, but when you're the kind that's working in a private home, do you actually live in the home or no? Yes. So when you get a, a job now as a butler, there is two things, live in and live out. So mm -hmm. always when I get someone calling me and saying, I'm looking for a butler, can you please help me find someone? I'll say, would you like someone live in or live out? Live in, it means he will have a small cottage in the property or an okay. A, a nice room on the side. Usually these houses are huge. Sure, I have sure. been working in a house lately for 25 acres of land and there mm -hmm. is few cottages around. So you have a small cottage, which is a few, um, I don't know how to say this. It's it's not so far from the main building. So the butler can stay there and then in the morning he is ready to go. Okay. Um, this is the live-in position. Uh, some people also like, we have apartments in New York, the 65 million apartment. And and there was a room with a bathroom, with kitchen, with small kitchen, everything. And this is on the side. You, you don't even feel that's there in the house and the butler lives there. So there is people who lives in and there's people who lives out and who lives out usually will come start a shift and then when the end of shift will go back home. But there is who lives in in house. Each one of them has benefits and and also if you talk about this. But yes, there is butlers who lives in house. So when you are a butler that lives in the house, what if you have a family or is that part of the thing that you... you yes, they usually provide you with a very nice accommodation. Like, oh, wow. Like in one place, you have an entire house for you in the property. Okay. So okay. you have your own parking, your own nice, beautiful wooden house that it's two bedrooms, mm -hmm. big, two bath, big living room, mm -hmm. huge kitchen. And this is all for the butler, just for the butler. Okay. And the butler will wake up, walk for a two minutes or three minutes, and then he's in the main building where okay. he served the family. Okay. So his family can live there. His kids can live there. Everything is normal. And you are absolutely separated. And you're all ha totally having total privacy from the main from the main house. Okay. Oh. Some people would live in the same in the same apartment, which is huge. Like I'm talking about $65 million apartment. 12 bedroom in New York. Okay. So we have one of these bedrooms and you don't even feel where is it. And to reach it, you have to walk for about two minutes. To okay. get there. Like off to the side, you have your own. Yeah, so you take okay. it and you have total privacy. You can leave and your family lives with you. Mm -hmm. You have your own bathroom, your own life there. And then you start the service. And usually this is very good for, uh, for people who need to have someone there all the time. Okay. Elderly people, people who are with sensitive matters and stuff like that. So they need they need someone to be in mm -hmm. the house all the time. Uh, it's needed now. You will find someone always 24-7 in, in a big houses. 
um, usually they call them the house butlers or the house manager or they give them any different names, but they are all the butlers. They're all the butlers. <laughs> Christina said, how long does um, the training take? The training takes, it depends on your experience. We need to, I, I always interview people first to see what is their level of experience. Did they work in hotels before? Did they work as a housekeepers? Do they have any hospitality experience? And then we can determine. A butler can take up from one week up to eight weeks of training. Okay. Some people know everything and so much about butler service, which is needed three, four days of training just to polish the service and give them some techniques and ways and improve skills to mm -hmm. how to provide service. So three, four days to people who really have experience, they just want to get to know more, mm -hmm. um, get more motivated. Some also we do some teamwork and some stuff like this. It takes three, four days. But if you're someone with no experience, I believe up to four weeks is really needed um, okay. to, to get to know about butler service and as well to practice. Um, some people will talk about online training for butler, and I would say to become a butler, it wouldn't work, the online training. During COVID, people was asking me to provide online <laughs> training, and I said, yeah. I can do hospitality management training on, online, but not right. a butler service. Butler is all about practice, hands-on, show you things, show you how to do a shoe shine, how to sure team address how to organize a wardrobe how to arrange a bubble bath uh, or maybe milk bath chocolate bath all these things that we <laughs> oh do. My goodness. things you yeah. can't talk about <laughs> yeah and red wine bath so I, we did we did before our red wine bath for our clients and oh set into a red wine oh so my god milk bath and someone okay. time was asking for a camel bath to have a camel bath like Cleopatra. Cleopatra used to have a, a camel path. So right. she broke her body in a camel milk. Oh, was goodness. Crazy, so crazy stuff that we are. <laughs> but it's really, it's really fun. People oh. enjoy enjoy their wealth, you know. We have right, money sure. to enjoy our wealth. That's why we have a bath in a water and, and body wash. Now we need something crazy. So right, I milk own... some chocolate for me and... <laughs> I want to jump in a chocolate. So. Oh my gosh, I love that though. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, Lisa, this is just a funny that she's doing yeah. something funny. Can you see it? Can you read it? MK, MK is whoever that is. <laughs> everyone, Bloom, you and the say the butler did it. Just a joke. You know how uh, the butler did it? You know that? Like that joke? That's all. She's kidding. <laughs> yes. I did. Actually, I did it with. Um, um, What's his name? The tie, the tie. Oh my God. Channon Tatum. Channon Tatum. Oh, I, I was, love him. I was the but I can share, I can say this story because it's already online in his Facebook page. Okay. So I didn't publish it. And at the time when my wife was telling me, you should take a photo with him. And respecting privacy, I didn't ask him for a photo. Right, 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 and, right. And then I regret, I said, I should have to ask him for a photo. But then he was recording everything. He was recording oh. everything on the suite. He does. So, yes. He was looking, and this was the premiere for his movie, Logan, I think, yes. So, mm -hmm. and he was getting ready to go for the premiere and stuff, and everyone was trying to tie his tie. His manager, he, have a, he had a butler at this time, no one could try his tie. And then his manager said, and his producer said, just let's go without tie. But then they said, oh, we have a butler in house. So I was there at this time, and he called me in. And actually, his suit and everything, just to let you know, is exactly my size. So he have he had a purple suit. He had a nice, beautiful French tie. So I yeah. did tie the tie for him. And everyone said the butler did it. <laughs> so, and you can see this on actually in his Facebook page. And then after that, when I said to my wife, you see, when I stick to become being professional, when I stick being a professional, what I get is much more than just a photo. I am on his video. I am on a video that now almost viewed by a million people on I Facebook love that. So. and YouTube as well. So uh, I am proud of being being professional, even though his producer at this time said, you can go and take a picture. You can ask him for pictures. He will not say anything. He said no. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't do it. But then I was in the video and his producer did text me on Instagram and said, hey, MK, you, can, you should watch this video. And then I watched and I found myself, and it's a few seconds, yeah. but, sh but shows that he was all looking for someone to tie his tie. And I'm the one who did it. 
Aww. So they said the butler did it. I love it. That's a great story. Janice, Janice says, thinking about how some people can be up all hours of the day and night. Are there sometimes, oh, multiple butlers or someone who works like off shift? Yes. Uh, usually in the big hotels, big houses, the butlers take a shift and then someone, you will hand over the shift to someone else. Mm -hmm. In hotels, you will you will hand over how many guests you have or how many rooms you have where the request with everything, a list of what they are looking for. We usually have a guest history book to know what the guest is allergies to, what they like, what they don't like, and all the issues that happened before in the past, um, their birthday um, dates, and everything that we can use a butler to exceed expectations and personalize the service. Mm -hmm. um, and then you hand it over to the, the, the butler who's coming for the next chef. In hotels, the same thing. There is butler who started the day and then there is another butler who end the day. So yeah. there is butler who do the opening, which you come open the house, mm -hmm. uh, start to let the housekeepers in, open the house for housekeepers uh, to go through the plans of the day with the, um, with the principals of the house, the Mr. and Mrs. we call them, or the Lord and the Queen. So we go through the day's agenda. We organize everything. And then we, by the afternoon or the evening, then another butler comes and take over for the rest of the day. Uh, and usually you hand them over what's going on, what you have done, and what is waiting to be on the queue to be done. Uh, there is also someone who, could, like for high, high profile people, they have also a travel butler. So someone who would be just there to, right, right. Pack, to pack your clothes, to arrange your travel, your travel, your private jet, everything, your cars. And then he will book even hotels and restaurants in your destination you don't have to worry about all that and he will travel with you he will accompany you while you arrive in this place wherever it's a hotel or another private residence um, he will unpack your luggage you don't have to worry about that he will steam your dresses and press your uh, your shirts and suits he will do the shoe shine and then he will accompany you to every restaurant and every occasion you're going to he will make sure that the restaurant where you're going if you are left-handed they will mm -hmm. switch the, the knife and fork for you. If you oh are my allergic, goodness. To, <laughs> allergic to specific, allergic yeah. to nuts, allergic to um, you don't like garlic in your food. You don't need right. to, to go to the restaurant and say, I don't like garlic in my food. Because it's taken so care of. They know ready. Everything is good. And also your favorite table is the one waiting for you. So you have a specific. Oh my. Yes. And I'm also, thinking the, the Kardashians, they must the have Kardashians. great butlers. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I don't know about them. I, I didn't work with them. So I, no, know. I'm teasing. I'm just thinking yeah, yeah. about because they always, yeah, of course, they're I'm, all recording all the time. They get everything yes. they want. So I'm thinking they must be someone at their beck and call all the time. Yeah, that, that's the level of, uh, yeah, where the butler, yep. you can see them. And there's a lot of people actually are behind the scenes. You don't know too much about them. Uh -huh. Very wealthy. And they have. I, I have been in houses where we have 35 butlers in house. So wow. Yes. Where wow. they travel, well, where they travel, they book the entire. If they go to a hotel like Beverly Hills, and I'll give you an example. I'm not going to specify the hotel because maybe you would know. Um, they would take the entire hotel. The entire wow. hotel. They will book the entire hotel in advance for two, three weeks. They will stay in the real suite and their staff will stay in another rooms and people accompany them and then they will leave the hotel. Then the normal life can go back. Okay. But this, yes. So that's amazing. Thank yes. you so much for sharing all this information. Yes. Christina saying, Oh wow, thank you, MK, for your clear answers. Thank you. Thank yes. you so much for I giving me that, this opportunity. Sure. I'm hoping that those um those that are butlers out there, maybe they could kick up their feet and turn on Hallmark and watch the Butlers in Love show on I, Saturday. I am excited to watch that. So this okay. is my mother-in-law actually loves Hallmark. She oh, is a yeah. fan of Hallmark. Yeah, Nancy. She is absolutely fan of it. And she's she's actually watching now. She's someone who like she is waiting for this show now. She will be a fan of it for the rest of her Excellent. life, I believe. And so. the and the lead uh, both the, um, when Ma and um, uh, Maxwell Caulfield is in it, he's like an actor and he plays the butler, and yeah. he's like an actor from like back in the day, and he has this wonderful accent. He's a very handsome guy. He has part of me. The British accent. To be yes, honest. yes. Yeah. But, and when you see the promos, they're adorable. Actually, 
I, if I, it's like a minute long. I have a promo. If everybody wants to stay for a minute and watch it before we leave, I will play it. It was given to me by Hallmark. And I don't think it's one that has been on. I'm hoping the sound works. Give me a minute and I'll share. And then um, we'll, we'll say goodnight. All right, hold on. Let's see. I'm going to share my screen. Let's see. I'll go with that. And I need this one. All right. I'm going to hit share. And table settings. I've seen you do it. So are you able to hear that? Yes. All right. I know you can do it. You do it well. It's just when there's pressure, that's when you mess up. Yeah, you're not wrong there. <laughs> so I came up with a game. A game? Yeah. We're going to race. Randomly pick a dining scenario. The first to correctly set it wins. Well, what does the person win? A, a point. And what happens if you get the most points? You just have to wait and see. Okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> it's rated off. High tea. High tea. Yeah. You ready? On your marks? Yeah. Get set, go. All right, here we go. I'm going to make sure you don't forget. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, sugar. Got it. Oh, don't touch mine. Oh, sorry. That That's, my That's my Maybe side. That's my side. And then you control right. this. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Out of you. And done. done. <laughs> and that is it. <laughs> I see classic, classic, classic. The afternoon tea in high tea. Yeah. We'll call it high tea for afternoon tea. Yeah. The best at the Blaza Hotel in New York. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So they it. they have like cute little things like that. She, she was saying it was in this beautiful um place that's in Vancouver, you know, and then of course the other part was in a studio. So yeah. I'm glad you're is it your mother-in-law you said that will be watching? Nancy, yes. Oh, okay. she loves it. She loves it. She's the one actually organized all this and she, uh, because I'm traveling and she was really excited about having me on the show with you. She, I actually talked to Nancy. Uh, I'm the one that called her. So yeah. Nancy. She was near to cry. She was near to cry. She was, she was near to cry. She was very happy about that. Okay. <laughs> Hallmark, Hallmark, she dreams about the channel. So Oh, like, Nancy, then you should subscribe to my channel and you should yeah. watch. I have all the actors come on. We do fun stuff. She did. Oh, she did. good. <laughs> So I love it. Okay, MK. Um, I wish you well. You have been a fabulous guest, and I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. I appreciate you having me on the show. Amazing show. I'm already a fan of you already, and I am on your channel. Hopefully, we'll be watching the show soon. Sure. Yes. All right. Good night. You stay for one minute. Good night, everyone. I'm gonna end the broadcast and I will see you, I guess, next Sunday because my guest is Cindy. She writes fan fiction. And I'll be telling you a little bit more about that during the week. And I have this great m, &M challenge that I'm doing with um, Jackie Collier. And I think the guys from the uh, Deck the Hallmark, it is a fundraiser. Um, and it has to do with m &Ms, And I might have to eat a whole bunch of m &Ms. I don't know, but I'll tell you more this week. All right. Good night.